can't be watching that type of porn on the fucking laptops without virus protection. You're going to fuck both of them up. Okay? We on that? We're live. Welcome to episode five of the Martin Michael podcast. Fully <sighs> actual. Episode number five. This is number five of the year. And let me tell you, fuck me. Did you guys see the episode that came out yesterday? The American football episode? The series that we got going? The second episode in the series, we had boxing and then American football. It's fucking great. It looks, it looks incredible. Julian's done a very good job. Yeah, he's very cute too. Fuck, we've done a good job too. Yeah. Well hey? done. Fucking Let's give ourselves a round of applause. If you haven't seen it, go and fucking have a look and they're getting better and better. All right. And tomorrow is terrifying because we have to go film because we filmed five of the 10 episodes. We still have another five to film. And tomorrow we have to film with um, the Nitro Circus boys. So we're going to fucking they're going to take us to their huge ramps. I've never even been to a fucking skate park. Hunt. Yeah. I don't even know how to fucking drop drop in. Is that Julian, what they say? Julian said he can. <laughs> I'm so excited. If it's real, real fucked scary, because Julian said that he's going to do it. But I don't know <laughs> Julian was confident. <laughs> he was fully confident. But yeah, so we've got to film with them tomorrow. That's fucking terrifying. And then we just got four more episodes to do and we're fucking Dunsky's cunt. If there's any so- professional soccer players out there, Matt, you said we had an interesting comment from Yeah, someone. we had um a guy... Uh, asked that oh sorry he told us he knew Jay, uh, his cousins with Jade North I think yeah Jade North is a former Socceroos player because we've been we've been trying to get into contact with fucking Brisbane Raw right so I emailed them directly to start with and they're like eh, no sorry uh, we don't want that type of publicity blah 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 so then we just contacted some of the players because we know people who are friends with the actual players they were heaps keen that were they were nearly lined up to go film the soccer episode with them and then they come back oh no sorry we're not allowed to the club says we're not allowed to it's like fuck off. Yeah, What's we're doing with, them a not, favor. You get some extra exposure. All they're doing is kicking some soccer balls at us. It's like, fucking relax. It's fair, to say, it's fair to say that Marty and Michael as a whole are bigger than Brisbane Raw. And we're probably better at soccer too. I don't know. Oh, so now we're struggling maybe. to find people for the soccer episode. So if you fucking know a fucking soccer player lives in Brizzy, he's fucking wants to fucking go a fucking episode with us, cunt, you fucking let us know, cunt. Anyway, uh, moving on, let's get the fucking sponsors out of the road. Manscaped has come on board for another three months, guys. Oops. So they loved, um, They thank you guys for buying shit with our fully actual code. Fully actual, all one word, you get 20% off all of their shit. It's like super cheap and it's really good shit. You can shave your balls without any nicks and stuff. You don't bleed at all. They give you a little bum bag. Oh, bum you bag. Put your drugs in here. You can use that for anything. You could cut up. You could cut shit up and put it in here. What's that? These are ball wipes, but I use them for my face and mouth. <laughs> After balls. I have an announcement. Oh, you bought one. I bought one. With What's the fully it like? Actual- and I shaved my balls. And how was it? Can I, I see them? I had zero. Yeah, right. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> a sack of sass! A sack of sass! Are you sure? Yes. yes. What do you mean, are we sure? Oh, no. I just oh, don't. fuck you, don't, Matt. Fuck don't, you don't, don't do that. But, um, but uh, yeah, it was super smooth. Amazing. And uh, I had zero cuts, nothing. It was fine. All right, yes. so we're about to see firsthand oh, how the balls are. All right, so he's got his little, little but, cock um, out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Big very balls. Smooth. Very, very can smooth. I, can I touch him? A few lumps. No. All right. Here's something we need to talk about. No, let's just get the sponsors yeah, out. Of the- I know, but we're going to the next sponsor soon. But you yeah, shaved really we're well. We're going to get to this, you fucking. You fucking <laughs> pig. You fucking pig cunt. But yeah, Manscaped, everyone. If you want to buy shit, use fully actual code and then they'll continue to sponsor it us. It helps us. Which helps us. So if you needed to buy shit like this, you may as well use our code and save some money because it's actually really good shit. Yeah, anyway. Like you're helping us by giving us a little bit of money. And you're helping yourself too. And we're helping you by shaving your balls. Your balls will be so clean. Women want to suck them. Huh? Yes, they do. <laughs> um, now... Yeah. Also, another sponsor. Probably, let's be real, the main sponsor and probably the best sponsor ever, right? Right? Yeah. And like, if, if I had any opportunity, I'd be on there like that. You know, I'd fucking sub to it. I'd, I'd pay to get on the it is it is, an, it is an on-fire subscription platform that has just the most lit entertainment that you've ever seen. You've ever seen, cunt. We today, and this is only for the website- we fucking got a lawnmower 
And we went over, we oh. started with easy things like flour, flour and, and paint, paint. Just because it looks cool. Progressed to thumbtacks, went through to glass. Nails. Stones. Then deodorant fucking cans. Yeah, we're not, yeah, oh, not going to tell you what yeah. happens, but go, it is fucking pretty cool. Riding a mower over a deodorant can. Very scary, <sighs> but very fun. So that's only on the website. And the reason we're mentioning that is the website is the sponsor of this podcast, University of Markle. You can jump on for 21 days for free to see if you like the content. So if you don't like it, you got nothing to lose. You can just fucking jump back off. Link will be in the description for YouTube. If you're listening on Spotify, just find us on Instagram. Okay. And the link is in the bio there. Okay. Matthew. Michael. Have you? How have you been, Matthew? I've been good. Have you been watching anything? Have you been able... Will you be able... Will you be able to watch the fucking lawnmower video? Do you even want to? Do you even fucking care about us? Do you even like us, man? It's a little bit hot in here. So, okay, I get to touch your balls. <laughs> no. I want to say, well, you're not fucking doing Why this. Why are you doing this? <laughs> if you had a subscription website, I would sign up, especially if there was off a 21-day free trial to be if given. It, especially hold if, it, if, hold it, hold it. It was porn. If I had a prescription website, I'd give it to you for free because I'm your friend. We don't know how to do that, yeah, man. We don't it, tech. Yeah, what see. Do you, what do you, We're you can, artists. We can show you some of our videos if you want. You can look off my phone. On our phone. But, man, I don't know how to give you free shit. I don't work back end, man. I only... We make we, the fucking... We don't, <laughs> come. We don't code, mate. End. We are not the coders. I'm Fuck still me. working out how to put your numbers in. I've so, I have signed up to any any of Jackson's shit, except for his OnlyFans, when he had his subscription yeah. thing, to Shami's yep. signed up to show my support. I don't even watch it that much. And we only see them rarely. You see us every week. Every week you fucking see us, mate. We came to your birthday. We let you into our into our member Facebook group for free. Yeah, dude. That's freedom. <laughs> for free. People talk to you. <laughs> Did you get some birthday fucking messages? Yeah, I got lots of birthday messages. Thank you to everyone who sent me a birthday message. Any murders in Mexico? No murders in Mexico. I did get I did get a link to some very disgusting scat porn. No child stuff. porns in no Norway. No child porns though. It was good. Right. Wow. Well, I had okay. a good time. It's improving. It's things are cleaning up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's it's great to hear. Yeah. No, nah, it's lovely to be honest. Supporting. Uh, yeah, fucking you fucking pig. You are yeah. a fucking <laughs> dirty dirty pig. <laughs> you, dude, he would fucking love the website too. The Calvin and Timid episodes. You would the be fucking the punishment episodes. He'd love it, to be honest. The bullying episode. Oh, like, you would really enjoy it. It's just like... <laughs> yeah, it's just like... I enjoy it. And it's my own vids. We watch them for hours, yeah. man. <laughs> I'm, li- I'm literally I, signed up. To the- got, as soon as you guys leave, I've got a routine. I just smash down three bongs and then I pop it on TV and I watch myself. He pops like in the Blu-ray. Hours. I will admit, I've uh, the um, Marty Michael supporter base is really getting behind you guys. This movement, continue of, it, everyone. Yeah, getting me to fucking try and sign get this off. fucking. Especially if you're in the Facebook group members, get the fucking pig to fucking sign up. Get the pig to sign up to the fucking subscription service. It's the least he can do. And that's a matter of fact. All right, moving on. Let's see what the fuck has written this week. Oh, it's hot. Oh, yeah, on this day. All right, Matt, what do you reckon about on this day? I haven't even had a look. I haven't had a chance. I have been so busy. We filmed the lawnmower video today. Don't touch me. We, and so you I haven't fuck. even had a chance to sit down and have a read of them, Matt. So what do you think? About an eight and a half out of ten. Mm, okay. All right, let's see some it's juicy, no birthday juicy. This week, so. <clears throat> All right. On this day in 1997, Princess Diana attempted to go back to the future by driving at 88 miles per hour straight through a tunnel. She lost control of the vehicle when the passenger asked her what time it is and she stupidly looked down at her wristwatch. She slammed into the side of the tunnel and her body was grated into mints along the coarse tunnel wall. Pretty funny. So she tried to come back. Well, she was trying to go maybe oh. to the future. Maybe she wanted to come like be here right now with us on the podcast. So that's when she fucking went through the tunnel the first time. That's the first time I'm thinking, right? So she's only been through it once. She was actually trying to go through. Well, to you the have future. to go at the exact 88 miles per hour. 
So when that happened, they said that, you know, she was killed in a car accident. She was actually trying to go to the future. I think so. Well, according to Matt, yeah. That's fucking Is that heavy. right, Matt? Let's make a pact right now, all three of us, by the way. If in our lifetimes we come across time travel, let's travel back in time to 5 p.m., which is in half an hour, to this very spot. Because then... If we, then we'll know. If we'll we all see each other, won't yeah, we? exactly. There'll be six of us. Then, then. we'll know. Then yeah. presence us will know if we ever encounter time travel. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. So that means right now, one of us are going to, or all three of us, could possibly walk through the door if we agree to come back to this time right now. What about? Oh fuck! This is breaking my mind. What about if one of us does? And then the others come at a different time because then that person came at this time and then it goes on and then that person goes because back. Because- Well, there'll be a guest on the podcast or something. Is that your idea? Because we're, no. we're all agreeing right now. If I, in my, when I'm like 80 years old, if I encounter time travel, I'll come, come back come to back- this very moment at 5 yeah, p.m. in half an hour. Th- this moment will pass and what if I haven't gotten to time travel yet or Matt hasn't and we haven't come at that exact well, time. Well, then we won't yeah, arrive and then we'll know that we never ever encounter time travel in our life. Hang on. If you all know who Dr. Brown is, Emmett Brown from Back to the Future, he specifically says, if you go back in time and interact with yourself, you could tear a hole in the space-time continuum. It doesn't matter. I'm willing to risk it if you boys are. Let's make a pact that we come back at 5 p.m. Yeah, I'll do it, but I don't think it's going to happen. On the 9th of March, 2021. 9th of March, 2021 at 5 p.m. We come here to this address, this exact address. I will not say the address. The address is for- Matt has to be naked. All right. Agreed? Why 5.20? Hey? 5. 5.20? No, 5 p.m. Why 5? Because, because it's, it's in half, half an, an hour's hour. time. So basically, oh, man, we're going to get a massive shock in a second. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. And, you know, it could really yeah, lift this, this podcast. Right. Could really oh, lift man, it to another level. Oh man, this is really excited my right, day. So, yeah. So if we fucking all right, let's fucking. I'm going to get to fuck myself. What's the date? Do you remember the date? <sighs> hey, you got to remember the date. I don't. Ninth of March. Ninth of, of March, twenty twenty one, five p.m. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget it because if you forget Locked it in. and you encounter time travel in fifty years' time, you fucking forgot the date. It won't work. Do you understand? And 9th we, of March. 9th of March, 2021, 5 o'clock. Do you think the new versions of us will have the new iPhone? I don't know. I don't. Th- I think iPhone, <laughs> we will be iPhones ourselves. <laughs> yeah, come. unfortunately. Oh, no, they'll be in the, uh, the brain. Yeah. They'll be all in there. <clears throat> anyway, on this day in 1999, Mariah Carey went to rehab for eating batteries. <laughs> Double A battery sandwiches were found in her handbag when I went through it. <laughs> I told her manager about it and the manager kept asking me who I was and what I was doing there. I'm no longer allowed back in America. Wow. Did that's you a have thing. a crush on her? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Man, that's yeah, really I've heard she's these, a real big diva. It's very research of you. All man. I want for Christmas is double A batteries, she said. That's, oh. That was the original lyric, yeah. Wow. Matt, Matt found really that out. It, though. Matt found that out. Wow. <clears throat> no triple A shit, fucking doubles. <laughs> They're bigger, aren't they? The doubles? Yeah, triples are little ones. On this day in 2011, I, Matthew Gregory Brown, oh. became obsessed with Barbie dolls. I mean, I always collected them, but I started becoming sexually attracted to them and would often gently kiss them when no one was around. After a few months, it escalated and I would be removing their tops and sucking on their small plastic tits while inserting my thumb up my ass. A few Barbies, I even bit their tits off altogether. You guys don't know this, but my family had to actually step in last year and I threw out my Barbie collection. I had over 300 sucked on sticky Barbies. I haven't (laughs) sucked a Barbie tit for over 14 months now. Fuck, maybe don't read this one. It's pretty messed up. Oh, wow, dude. So, what about Ken dolls? Just Barbies? Yeah, I think all dolls, really. There's a, it's a, there's an actual thing for dolls. There's a, a, a thing, they, a name for it. Yeah, well, dude, we yeah, went to a sex shop know, the other day, and this is another video that's only exclusively on the website. It's which sex toy hurts the most. We've to done two of with. them. Yeah, we didn't use them. But we saw they have a sex doll in there. Guess how much oh, it costs. Oh, yeah. It's like a real woman. Is like, it one of the ones that start up like the speaker sound? You know and she was like working behind the counter and like she was like full robotic <laughs> yeah, interacting. Yeah, I her. hit it and it didn't do anything. She laughed. I remember watching Joe Rogan and that comedian chick had one that was made like her. Yeah, it's it like- And just it would talk every now and then. Yeah, Freak. well, this one wasn't really talking. This is yeah, like- We lied about that, but it looked very real. But guess how much? 500. 
Three grand. Ooh. For a wife, though. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah dude. I guess. Unless you, yeah. It's it, like. We'd be very lazy wife. I want to try it. Very. You wouldn't really get much conversation. It's unbelievable. I imagine what it's going to be like in 30 years. Yeah. Well, in Japan, apparently sex dolls sell hardcore. And oh. they're, they're sort of like. The Japs love pumping plastic shit, eh? In Europe, they've. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in Europe, they've opened the first sex doll brothel. Whoa. Yeah. So, they must have different oh, sort of, man. you know, like flavors. It's weird. Yeah. Well, you know, like goth ones, redhead ones. Yeah. How do you know Ringworm that, ones. Uh, I watched a documentary Barbie doll on it. I can't Obsessed remember what it was. Barbie dolls. But the, uh, the condition is called, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, it's agalmatophilia. Agalmatophilia. It's even got your name in the condition. I know. MAT is in there. And um, it's the sexual attraction to dolls. That's fucked, cunt. Wow. You are a fucking messy boy, I'll tell you that much. No wonder you're not subscribed to the website. Dolls are so small. They'd be hard to... Like, I mean, the Barbies. Yeah. yeah. Like, that'd be hard to get off over. I'd need like a life. I don't know. One. Maybe if you just gogged on one, you know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, true. But that's... There might be some asphyxiation. Too. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess you could put one up your ass too. That's possible. Or snap them in half, maybe. I don't know. Maybe the sound of the plastic breaking. But mm. even making them all have sex is possible as well. You know, people used to put... I grab my sister's one. You put them in funny positions and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That was, was sick always puppy. fun. Standard. You're a sick puppy. Oh, I see that. Anyway. On this day in 1989, Jennifer Lopez sprinkled ham on her lawn and planted it she was trying to grow pigs and didn't realize that that's not how you make pigs the ham attracted rats and she fled the city and that she lived in and decided to become a singer wow (laughs) j-lo is still kicking she is a gorgeous lady for her age what a dumb fuck though yeah like i don't know about the ham thing but yeah didn't she just play it like the latest nfl what super bowl the grand final i don't don't fucking know don't don't quote him on that everyone don't quote in in fact ignore it completely ignore it completely what he said i mean she might have also don't ignore it you know played at the gabba look it up yourself how about that google who played at the super bowl was it jennifer lopez all right thank you we'll leave it at that thank you All right, let's go to the fucking some fucking questions. We've uh, we've adopted the uh, voting system this week, so you guys post your questions on the YouTube video podcast, and then you vote by liking the questions that you want us to answer. So we've picked like what, how many fucking ten or some shit come that you fucking talk to my fucking answer. And Matt's gonna fucking read them out. Count two, two, Twelve two. or thirteen. Um, yeah, and there was a lot of voting, so mm-hmm. I've had to. Some might be next week as well. You might have asked them this week, but they'll be next week. But trust me, I'm getting them all. Or just keep keep ask keep commenting the same questions until they're in the top top. Because the more, if you want to support the podcast, comments help. Yeah, Thank you. comments, shares, subscribing as well. Just have a second now if you're watching, and just press the red button. It takes like or a the second. Like the like, and button. then the thumbs up like that. Because then YouTube's like, what the? Hang on a second. These fucking cunts here, right? People think that this shit is good. I'm going to show to more people. All right. First question is from Zach Bell. Um, can we please get an episode with Yulia and touch base on his Eshe days? Yeah, oh, man. Fuck. He would love to talk about that too. He fucking loves talking about his Eshe days. <laughs> anyway, Julian, come on here and show us what you got. <laughs> you little Eshe. <laughs> Next question is from O. Kaz. Oh, you freaked me out, Yeah, me man. too. Sorry, boys. Uh, Marty, if you get the opportunity to get a salary of $5 million per year, would you dump Michael and go solo? Nah, we, we get all right now. And it's never been about the bloody cash, Ola. Oh, and we'll be fucking, got a good laugh out of that. And we'll be fucking rich one day anyway. So We just got to keep chipping, keep clapping, keep working. So and, Keep checking. And I don't even know what I'd do on my own. I just Yeah, fart. it's so I'd, good. I'd, I'd fart. <laughs> I just <laughs> fart into the mirror by myself. <laughs> <laughs> fart compilation part 719. <laughs> and me eyes will be all fucking bloodshot, cunt. Pink eyes. Uh, pink eyes. My blood pressure will be fucking... I mean, you can't... I feel mean, red and shit, cunt. Fucking <laughs> 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 asshole. The fucking mush. Mushy. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, my blood pressure is insanely high. <laughs> yeah, we got bad news at the moment, guys. We got some. I bad went to the because do- oh, I've been getting oh. weird heart palpitations, <laughs> right? So I was like, "Fuck, I'd better go to the doctor" because they're happening like daily. So I'm in the doctor last Friday, 
And it turned, she's like, she's like, you know, a routine just took my blood pressure. Blood pressure is like 170 over like fucking 100 or some shit. And she was like, oh, surely that's a mistake. Took my blood pressure again and then again. And it was like the same every fucking time. So she's like, okay, we, we, need, we obviously need to go get all these tests. So I have insanely high blood pressure. And I think, I'm hoping it's not my heart. I think it's just because stress and lack of sleep. It's a very stressful life, this life. Yeah. Living. And... Hopefully, it could be for marijuana use. Surely, yeah, lack of sleep must affect that massively. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because I don't so sleep much at all. I'm maybe such an insomnia. fucking the doctors. Is there's so many fucking doctors? Because we are doctors too now. And social media is a doctor. That, that watch no, our podcast. I don't know about that. I don't want anyone to start scaring me. <laughs> no, nah, say the best case scenarios. Oh fuck it. No, nah, I'm off that. Won't. Cut that bit. Cut I don't want to hear because some evil shit will come through and all upset. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah. All right, so, cut that. so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and get. I've, I've cut out meat again, and I've stopped fucking uh, smoking weed at night, and uh, the heart palpitations have stopped. Now, blood pressure is still insanely high, but I'm just gonna fucking see if I can chip away at just it. Go vego hard, and then f- eat plants. Yeah, it's so fucking annoying. Yeah, though. It's right. if if that could be an answer to fix it, though, you'd have to research. Well, yeah, that's what the book. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure I just gotta get me stress under control and my sleep, and now like. It's so hard to sleep. Yeah, dude. It's it's difficult. Tried everything. Wim Hof is literally the only thing that gets the blood pressure down. Fuck, he's a fucking genius. That Do the ice baths up? I don't know. I haven't, I have me- I haven't it measured it after. Mm. Well, anyway, next question. Next question is from Lake McBogan. Uh, how did you come up with the podcast name? Is it because you guys are fully actual aliens? That's Michael sh- must be one. I think, Michael, you came up with the term fully actual. When I was traveling through Central and South America, I was traveling with these dudes that I met from Sydney and they were loose units. Shout out to you, Max, Jono and Luke and Will. And then that's all I could say because I was always fried. I'd say, dude, this is fully actual. (laughs) (laughs) It was just all I said for like fucking weeks on end. And then, like, when I came back, that just became, like, my favorite saying. When did we decide to make it the name? I remember we decided to do the podcast and one day I came over and Marty just said, we're going to call it Fully Actual. And I just pissed myself laughing. Well, it's so good because you know how, like, some people say, oh, it's actually amazing. Yeah. And people, and then other people say it's fully good. Like, yeah. Oh, it's fully rad. So, it's you know? fully actual. It's the best fucking combination of two words ever. Fully. And it's a sentence. Actual. And it makes sense, but it's a it's, weird yeah, sentence. It's, it's like a cool car. I don't want to fucking say It's it. like a cool car driving down the no. freeway. It's like a cool loser. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of like a conundrum in itself and they just fuck each other. The fully fucks the actual and the actual fucks the fool. It's like a cancer, but it's benign. Yeah. It's both. Good and bad. It's the yin yang. Of it doesn't Marty really and make Michael. sense, but it makes all the sense. Yeah, it's everything and nothing all at once. It makes no sense, but it makes sense. It is. If you know what I mean? The money sense. And it isn't together. It's so, and it's os os. We are retard. <laughs> Next question is from Leo. <laughs> Uh, Leo asks, um, why is Marty so good at saying wholesome? I know it's from the early podcast days, but please say five times wholesome in a row for me. Wholesome, 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 wholesome. Yeah, you do. It's the German shit. Yeah, he's got this. <gasps> yeah, it's, it's wholesome, 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 wholesome is very back of the throaty, which is where my native tongue comes into play, and I'm able to uh, construct the sound correctly. <laughs> <laughs> What's the new laugh you came up with today? <laughs> oh, how do you do that? Oh, when something's funny, you go higher. Uh, Next question is from Addison Leet 49. Uh, Are you okay? Um, Oh, look, my blood pressure's a bit high and I'm a bit worried about that. 
and I'm worried about me farting into the recorder. I'm worried about what that'll do. But other than that, I'm all right. Yeah, you you have not farted for yeah, days. Yeah, it's. I swear, I'm not doing this on purpose. I literally just have stopped. I think it's because I cut out meat because of the blood pressure thing. So now I'm just fucking. There's zero gas right now. Oh, it's been so boring for me. Yeah. Next question is from Susan Pepper. Um, I had to Google this before I asked the question just so I know what I was talking about. Uh, was Marty conceived in the Kit Kat Club in Berlin? What's the Kit Kat Club? The Kit Kat Club is a notorious fetish club. Um, it's opened by an Austrian pornographic filmmaker and it's all about S&M and things like that. I'm guessing there's more involved, but it sounds fun. Well, from memory, I think I was conceived at a, um, at a graveyard just shortly after a funeral. <laughs> oh, your dad fucked your mum after they buried some fucker. No, it was um, artificial insemination. What, like a needle? Mm. What, what, was it something to do with the body that died? No, it's just a stranger just stabbed mum into the arm with some semen. Wait, and you went through the vein? Yeah, yep, I went through the veins. I remember. It's fucked up, man. <laughs> it's just one. It's just me. Usually there's like lots of sperm. It's just one. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you take your time? Oh, man, I had to fight through the kidneys, man. Like that kidney was like fucking... <laughs> And I was like fucking ducking the count. Tee, 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 tee. And then straight down the ovaries and just fucking rip the count over. That's very good. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, um, next question is from Sam, uh, podcast <laughs> for the question. Uh, you guys seem pretty gay. What percent of gay are you guys? Um, well, I think I think that we are we are we are, we are so straight that we are able to joke openly joke about gay shit because it's funny to us. I reckon with Lockie, there's no secret there that we were together. Yeah, yeah, Michael and Lockie have fucked hard. <laughs> like I walked in and he was had had his hands on Lockie's ears and pulling his head back and was pumping real hard <laughs> from behind. <laughs> And I just remember the sound of the slapping of Michael's hips against Lockie's bare ass. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> and, but we've sort of parted ways. Um, but yeah, I won't go into that. But <laughs> I've got a new crush and it's no secret. Julian. Yeah. Yeah, he's it's, got it's, something about it. He's so cute. Of- when you see him on his sweet side and like, you know, he's nice. Like I see the way he treats his girlfriend and I just want to be her. <laughs> Yeah, it's, because it's, he's so sweet. I heard he's got a hairless bum. Really bum. crossing some um, sexual harassment boundaries at at the workplace. But I started um, like setting like my my alarm at like four a.m. and just texting him saying, "Hey, dude, come over." <laughs> just going back to sleep. Freak him out. <laughs> um, but yeah, Julian's. I've got my eyes on him. Um, I've got my eye on you. But yeah. Oh, dude, remember that? Have <laughs> we told the story? Of like an old friend that we're meeting up with, sort of networking with for the first time at the casino. And he was coming with his girlfriend. So, he... Oh, yeah. He went down to go get his girlfriend. We were up in the room. So, me and Marty are like, dude, let's get completely naked. It's like midday. By and, the way, and, and pretend that we're fucking. <laughs> so, so, he opens the door with, with his, his girl, girlfriend. And he just sees us. The, as soon as you open the door, there's just the bed there. And it looked like we were full fucking Like, ass. we were fully naked. Like, his dick was hitting my ass cheek. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, not my ass hole, but it was hitting my ass cheek because we were committing to the fucking joke and it looked like we were proper fucking he, he the, oh my god oh my god <laughs> shuts the door didn't come back in for so long like, dude we were joking and he actually thought we were like fully real because it was so it looked so real and then his girlfriend really didn't say much to yeah, us she didn't speak to us really and then we fucking walked around the streets yelling out that he's a terrorist and I'm just he's on the phone we're in the middle of Cab Avenue and I'm just pissing myself through my pants like literally urinating <laughs> just yelling at him pointing saying he's a terrorist <laughs> everyone's looking at him as I'm pissing <laughs> fuck man it's he, a lot to take in yeah. for someone who doesn't know us <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good times though. Oh, 
Oh, um, next question is from the crazy fool. Uh, what the fuck is Toka? Toka is a uh, mm, uh, it's a combination of tennis, soccer, and volleyball, I guess. So you're allowed. It's a sport we invented. Three bounces on your side of the court. You're allowed one touch per person, and then, or you, it's like volleyball. You got to touch, then another player's got to touch, then you can touch. And then you got to kick it over on the floor and it has to land within the lines of a tennis court. And, and it can't bounce twice. Can't use your hands. Yeah, so you can use, you know, just your soccer thing, your head, your chest, your knee, your, fo- your foot, and um, yeah, it's turned into like a fucking. James has used his bum before. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's allowed. Yeah, we're obsessed with it. Holy shit! It's We've got to fun. start live stream streaming them or something. Yeah, we should. We but should like, do that. And Michael and I have started playing tennis again, yeah. by the way. If you follow us on Instagram, because we're going to start literally live streaming our matches, like set up a good camera view so you can see the whole oh, court. Oh, No, no, tennis. Oh. Me, Mar- me versus Marty. Because fuck, it's fun. Yeah, it's we good forgot to get how fun in. tennis was. Yeah, you know, we did it for fucking like 15 years. There has been questions about you guys playing tennis against each other. Yeah. And like, yeah, it's just... It's sort of like it's cardio, but fun cardio. Because the more, f- the better you are at a sport, the more fun it is. And yeah. we are really, really good at it. No, oh, yeah. Oh, we we will we will be. We only yeah, just yeah. started again. Yeah. Uh, two more questions left. Oh, um, oh. Next one is from Bree Firth. Um, who is someone you ringworms really want to collaborate with? The Racker Boys would be fun, and they're coming bloody. Um, when Jackson gets back they're coming to brizzy yeah fuck yeah good so hopefully we can fucking catch up with them finally you know we've spoken to them a little bit here and there on social media but yeah it would be fun to fucking go because they make some fucking cool shit don't they yeah dude we oh, imagine an epic fight with them yeah like a real life or one. just some fucking epic scat porn yeah dude next question is from sean abel and this is the last one of the day Shable. um Shable. Would you rather watch your mother and father make love every night for the rest of your lives or join in once? Oh, I'd probably just, just fucking, God, it'd be a lot of. Uh, you, your life's ruined if you have to go there every night and watch that. Your life's I'd rather just you, join in and then never talk yeah, to him again. Yeah, of course you would with your fucking mum. Oh, oh. It's a fucking easy one for this one over here. Oh, oh, oh. It's bloody smoking hot mum over here and you've always sort of wanted to fuck her a bit. So oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cut that, Connor. <laughs> oh, my poor mum. He doesn't mean it. Um, <laughs> oh, dude, I don't know. That's a tough one. You think you just become normal. You come over yeah, for dinner, I'd- they're fucking, you're like, all right, hurry up, I want dinner. Yeah, if, if, if they were still, e- still together, it would be totally fine. They'd be like, oh, cool. Like, mm. there's something to aspire to in a relationship. Glad the sex drive still works. Yeah. You guys, keep those fucking questions coming in. And if you want to hear the cool questions, make sure you vote by liking the fucking questions that you want us to answer. In the fucking comment section, cunt. Now it's time for the hunt. And uh, our hunt objective has changed. We want to get on the Today Show, which is Australia's like top morning show, right? And um, so we speak to Carl occasionally on fucking social media. Well, like a few messages here and there, not really much. Um, and, you know, I message him every now and then just because it's funny. I just like messaging Carl and he sees the messages He's now. cool dude. And um, so anyway, we're going to try and get on the Today Show. So our tactic is this to begin with, all right? So I've messaged Carl, messaged him earlier today. He hasn't seen it yet. I said, Carl, what do we have to do to get on the Today Show with you? We love you and we'll do anything to get on. Give us a goal, no matter how impossible. And I said that because I know that all of us ringworms, if he gives us something fucking crazy to do, I reckon we can do it. We can work as a team. Now, if that doesn't work, because he hasn't really been replying that much, I'm also going to start messaging his co-host, mm. who has a smaller following on social media, so hopefully our messages stand out a bit more. And also, I'm going to just start messaging the Today Show and start sending them some of the shit that we've done and just see if it's newsworthy. And... You know, we, if, if that, none of that works, we're going to have to really do something fucking extreme. Worst case scenario, we, kill him, we start a show called The Yesterday Show. Oh, yeah. Or tomorrow, The Tomorrow Show. Hmm. That's uh, worst case scenario. Boys, oh, by the way, in five minutes, we find out if we have ever encountered time travel in our life. <laughs> Matt's distracted. He's lost. I was Googling what the number one 
morning show is in Australia. Is it the Today Show? Maybe. Or is it Sunrise? I think it's Sunrise. Oh, fuck. It fuck used it. to be No Today one show. likes what that- But I think it changes all the time. I, my, Carl Stefanovic's mate, way better than fucking Koshy. Yeah. So, um, that's the plan, all right? The plan is to get on the Today Show and- um, so we'll, if Carl doesn't reply yet, then I'll do all those other things and we'll fucking keep you posted. And who knows, we if they don't start replying, we're going to need you guys again to fucking start hammering some comments so that they notice us. Because we ain't backing down from this one. I'm going to get on that today show, all right? We'll die trying. Even if we like have to just go there, you know how people get in the background? Dude, we'll fucking go there with a gun. They'll let us on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well yeah that's plan d but another one could be we don't have to be like on on the today show we could just be um like in the background you know what i'm talking about yeah you yeah can, you can when be, they're like talking and there's you all can the people see the glass outside outside yeah. yeah we can do that we could yeah so there's heaps of options yeah so that is the hunt for this week um also we don't have a po box to open this week which is which was pretty um yeah pretty what the hell <laughs> so fucking send us some shit guys because we want to open it live for you all right it's a great opportunity right we can open fucking <sighs> bag of piss you could send us a bag of piss and we'll open oh. it. or like a dead animal or something <laughs> not one that you've killed just like roadkill. I'd that love you to found. get some. Imagine getting roadkill. You could send us like a little bucket of worms. If you have like your own makeup line, you could send us makeup and we'll eat it. Period Life. blood. Oh, fuck. Imagine that. That would be like heavy. real chunky ones. Oh, man. Blood I don't clots. know about that. Hey, I don't know about that one, man. Yeah, you struggle with the old blood, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> what else? Maybe an ear? Yeah, if a you human want human ear, cut an ear off. Just a little bit. You got to maybe or snip, a pinky. Snip pinky. the little earlobe off there. It'd be fine like that. Yeah. No, it's great. It's great to see. Oh. Ooh. All right. Yeah, well, there you have it. So, Send no P.O. Shit, unboxing please. this week, but we do have a brand new motherfucking seg, Mant, right? Um, the paranormal segment sort of busted last week. We probably... I, I went through some DMs. There were some fucking pretty good ones. So I think we just unluckily just picked a few shit ones, but so we might bring that one back, but we were inundated with DMs for this worst crimes that our followers have done. So we thought, fuck it, we'll just try this one and see what you guys think. If you like this segment more than the paranormal one, comment crime segment, and then we'll keep this segment coming. All right. There's some fucking rip snortlers. I had no idea how many fucking criminals followed us, Matt. Roger. It's a lot. All right, I'm just going to go through a few. These are all anonymous, by the way. Yeah, we, we, we will won't never tell a soul. Out. I promise. Me and my mate once set fire to a toilet at a golf course, and then the next weekend we went back and set the bush, trees, and golf course on fire. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like, That's like ballsy. You'd think if you got away with it once. You don't go back for number two. Yeah. Mm. Especially golf. It's like, they sound golf. like arsonists or something, you yeah, know? Yeah, there's more. There's more arsonists in this list. Jesus. All right. I did two years and two months for seven kilos of weed. So, see, that's a lot I'd of I'd love weed. to see that. Yeah. I'd love to see what that looks like. But and roll yeah, in it. Two put, years. Put a like, bathtub. It's, it's a fucking plant. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Fuck you. And it's going to- All that'll change eventually. God. It's, like, it's just two- Seven kilos. And you get two years and two months. Even two months is too much for seven kilos, Matt. Oh, I didn't smoke weed. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you fucking pig. You don't get it, man. You don't fucking get it. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> Biggest crime was I bashed my old man and kidnapped him. Nearly drove him off a cliff. Mm, possibly a lie. All right. I drunkenly kind of tried to break into a hospital ward after a Christmas party because I wanted to go to bed. Figured hospitals have beds, so made sense to me at the time. Ended up getting charged with trespassing, drunk, disorderly, and public nuisance. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. Let's go to sleep in the hospital. Man, have you ever woke up in the wrong place? <laughs> I have many of course. times. We woke up in a playground once. Oh, yeah. With kids playing around. It. First we time spoke we, about that last week. First time we ever did pills. Yeah. Jesus, that fucked us. I stole all the women in my family's jewelry and sold it for cash. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's fucking... What the fuck, man? Imagine stealing your mum's fucking wedding ring cunt. Yeah, yeah he even said the definition of fucked. And for some reason, P.S. Matthew Brown, etc. 
Like that's that's what he said. <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> off! I'm not even. Maybe kidding. he knows you, and you guys like fucking sold it together or something. <laughs> All right, I used my job at Costco to push drugs. I made an extra $200 a week on speed and weed back in 2018. I would like to re- remain anonymous. Blah, fucking blah, blah. speed. Um, is, speed is not really around anymore. That would be like... Well, it's pretty much just meth. Yeah, it's a bit different. Sorry. S- speed back in the day. Fucking hell. That was everywhere. Anyway. All right, I seen a guy get beaten within an inch of his life coma <laughs> for a month, paralyzed for life oh. over a pack of two-minute noodles, which was 90 cents. Might be a lie. Oh. Seen a bloke chew a razor blade in prison, spat it out, and just sat there like it was food because the screws wouldn't give him his meds at the oh time. Oh, my God. That's fucked up. Dude. Imagine the razor like Oh, shut like the fuck up. In I can't between your fucking, fucking teeth oh, gaps, oh, 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 cutting oh, into the gum. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, man. Maybe we should do it for a video. No. All right. Okay. Next one is started a bushfire many years ago. Shut down the Logan motorway. <laughs> that's that's, fucked, <laughs> that's good. Oh, Bushfires is fucked. Fuck you whoever did that. Pissed in a cop car's exhaust pipe, then it bursted out when they started. Oh, the that's car. good. Yeah, I that's enjoyed right. that. A little clap there. That's beautiful. Had a sick cunt police chase and got oh. away from them, but once I got home, they were waiting for me because they can track your license. <laughs> yeah, they what did, did you that? think like, you were going to get like, away, mate? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got arrested for break, breaking and enter due to going back to the wrong house drunk after a Barney with my wife. Thinking she had locked me out, I smashed the window and let myself in. <laughs> First, I knew. About it was when I sobered up on the police cell floor and the officer informed me of what I've done. Oh, my God. Imagine no. getting that fucked up. That you don't know it's your house or not. But, I mean, I can- Man, there, there have been times like back in the early 20s where we would get black out drunk and wake up and there'd be like just all sorts of random shit in Henry's <laughs> bedroom. But, man, <laughs> you, just, you just can't remember. We could have killed someone and we just wouldn't remember. Yeah, well, yeah, fuck. I cut two of my mate's fingers off with an angle grinder on purpose then i dropped the angle grinder and chopped his big toe i was it was because he was an asshole and i went to dondale juvenile prison in darwin for 10 months that's like you gotta get your fucking head checked a bit if you're getting that angry at someone to do that yeah what the fuck but thank you for the story i i stole 26 cars when i was 16 26 cars that's fucked that's like julian's friends all right two more <laughs> and don't you have some matt do you have any good ones um i only have one good one um hang on a second um on a late night out in fortitude valley which is in brisbane um i picked up an older lady went back to her house and slept with her in the more in the early morning in the early morning hours, I wanted to leave, so I stole her car to get home. <laughs> I never saw her again. <laughs> <laughs> what? He just kept the car? Yeah, he stole her car to get home. Wow. Maybe he like sobered up and just left the car somewhere. But, <laughs> is there any more? <laughs> no, that's it. It was quite short. This, but okay, we got Google. one more here because this one's so fucked up. But thank you for the story. When I was 21, I went on a cruise to Mexico. There I met a pair of twins, both 18. Since they couldn't buy alcohol, they quickly became friends with me since I was buying it for them all day and night. After playing golf with the twins, I became dangerously horny after seeing one of the twins' pussy lips outlined in her tight bikini. Later that night, as my horniness became more and more violent, I came up with a plan. I have problems sleeping and I have to take prescription sleeping pills. Being young and not knowing the laws of rape on international waters, I put 12 to 15 sleeping pills in the bottles of beer, giving it to one of the twins. Once it stopped foaming from the pills dissolving, I put the cap back on it and gave it to them, to one of the twins. She fell asleep. (laughs) I turned out the light and then I ate her out for hours. I then went to wash up and noticed lots and lots of blood on my face. The pussy lips that I'd seen earlier that day was actually a period pad. That is so fucked, cunt. That is so fucked. (laughs) What a messed up guy. That is a messed up guy. I laugh at the blood, but not the These are all going to the police, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> oh man, there's fucking more to a eh? like. Anyway, we need to wrap it there because we, we're getting keep up sending them through. 50 minutes. We'll keep ringworming them. Yeah, if you like this segment, let us know in the comments. All right, brother. All right, it's fucking wee wee wee. Fuck <laughs> prank all time count. Two, two, two. Oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh shit, we still got the German, German segment. Oh yes. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber Deutsch, 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 Deutsch. It's the German segment where I very casually and calmly read out common German phrases as if I'm speaking to a fellow German in a casual, calm setting at home. Yuck. There you go. <clears throat> I wish you had berries. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, here we go. Heute habe ich Muskelkater! Muskelkater! Heute habe ich Muskelkater! Which means today I have today I have muscle tomcat, which means today I've got sore muscle ache. Fuck me, that's a lot of effort to tell someone you got sore muscles. Yeah, sore mus muscle What's the first part of that? The oh, way I you say that. I have a muscle cater. Muscle cater on my arm and spine. Muscle cater on my shoulder. What's the first part of it? It sounds like you, your neck's gone. Heute habe ich, today I have, muscle cater. That, that's the, muscle that pain. The worst part of it for me was the beginning. What do you mean the worst part? It just, it, it, it threw me off. It annoyed me. I'm being honest. <sighs> there you go. Beautiful language. Very passionate language. A lot of intense sounds to get the point across. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess. Den Teufel wird ich tun. Den Teufel wird ich tun. Whoa. That's like demonic as fuck. Den Teufel wird ich tun. You sound like you're possessed. Which means the devil will I do. Well, there which, you fucking which go. Which translates into I will be damned if I will. I'll be damned if I... You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Den Teufel wird ich tun. That one was sort of cool. Teufel means devil. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's sexy. Rock and roll, man. Oh, my That's God. Cool. That's heavy metal. This is actually sexy oh as fuck. Oh, my fucking God. Like, I'm coming right now. Yeah. Love how he studies it. <laughs> yeah. I have to, like, say it in my mind first. <laughs> <laughs> du Glückspilz. Oh. Du Glücks. Du Glückspilz. Like, hearing that <laughs> makes you want to fucking... It gives you a headache. Yeah, it's actually a compliment. <clears throat> That's not a Du Glucks <laughs> <laughs> Which means you lucky mushroom. Which means lucky one. Oh, wow. Lucky mushrooms. That's pretty cute. But oh, I want to start saying lucky mushroom to people. Yeah, yeah. well, you just learn that. That beautiful sound. And mm. then you can... Uh, du Glucks Glucks And shower it upon those that you love. Wow. Isn't that right? I want to start saying that at work. Yeah. Du Putz no, that's not right. <laughs> pretty, it's fucking may as well be. It's when someone says something along that, does it sound like they're just mumbling? Yeah. It just like, sounds, sounds like, like gibberish. It sounds like just fucking some fuckwit. Just fucking <laughs> fuck, trying to talk or some shit. <laughs> really offensive. <laughs> Come on. Ma, ma, ma. Um, all right. Now it is time for the prank. Dicka, dicka, dicka. Call. Can I ask a question? But have you had no farts built up in the last? None. I swear he has not what, done one all day. I promise you, not he one. He did a shit, and I'm constantly like, and it had corn in it. Yeah, but I, I have not seen him fart. Yeah, I did a shit on a um on a pole today when we were filming on a handrail bridge. I'm really was, worried about you. It was like the corn was completely whole there, and it had broken away from the poo. You could eat the corn again. I was tempted because no one's done that before. But then I was like, fuck, I could probably get sick. Baby food. Yeah, I'm not. It was, it's just like it come off the cob. I got to chew my food more, Matt. That's the lesson here. All right, so <sighs> this is Arnold Fine calling a uh, pet cleaning service to see if he can get his pigs cleaned. Hello? 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 Hello?
you, Riley speaking. How may I help you? Uh, hello, Riley. My name is um, Arnold. I uh, called to see uh, you clean uh, animal, yes? Yeah, we do do good dog grooming. That's select. Yes. yes, so I have a few uh, pig. I have uh, six, seven uh, large pig. And uh, I look to uh, clean uh, them. I, there's not a um, place to clean here. So I think, uh, can I uh, perhaps bring my pig in for clean? A pig? Oh, unfortunately not. We only do dog grooming here. What if... Uh, because we do have... One of the have a, <laughs> one of my pig uh, look a lot uh, like a dog, similar size and uh, quite hair, it, uh, pink hair on it, um, look very similar. Uh, what if I bring uh, that pig in? No, unfortunately not. We only do yeah, only dogs. Or uh, why? Just because uh, we only, we have got dogs inside the salon, so we can't have any other animals inside there. What yeah, if the dog. other dog tie, right? The other dog tie. You tie the other dog, and I bring the pig in on a harness, and I, uh, I'll hold him and everything, and make it fairly easy. I do not have the cleaning. I, I do not have the cleaning tool here. You see, I do not have it at home. I need to have pig clean. You clean dog, dog pig, same thing. Yeah, and and just unfortunately, yeah, it's just our policy inside our salon. There is around here. There's a lot of DIY washes. Um, like down the road from us, you can actually... Can I uh, speak a uh, supervisor? I, I, c come on now, Riley. You, you, you put me on supervisor. I, I want to give you business. Huh? I want to give you money, but uh, you not clean my pig. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that, but unfortunately, yeah, it is just policy. Um, where, policy see, I, where policy say no pig clean, huh? I say I not see policy no pig clean. Manager, if you want. Yes, uh, Riley, put me yeah. to a manager, yes. Yes, okay, I can do that. All good. I won't be Hello, Kim speaking. Hello, Kim. Uh, my name is Arnold. I, uh, I speak to uh, staff. Uh, she very rude. She say uh, something about, uh, you know, clean my animal. And I would like to uh, speak to somebody who maybe uh, can oh, can sure. clean my animals for me. Okay, Arnold. What uh, what what breed of animal do you have? I have a pig. I have a six pig, but I only want um, maybe the two big one cleaner. Huh? One uh, hundred kilo. The other one a bit smaller, but a hundred kilo pig. Very important. I clean. My wife is sick. She cannot do it. She's sick in bed. So I need the pig cleaned by tomorrow for sale to butcher. Yeah. Uh, Arnold, I'm unfortunate. We wouldn't even have the facility in our grooming salon to... I see uh, a dog. I see a dog, big dog. A hundred kilo pig. No, okay, okay. Not a hundred kilo. Yeah, just, There's a, just, I have a 30 kilo pig, a little hairy one I bring in, similar size right. to dog. I could maybe bring that in a harness. And you, can take, um, you could take it to a self-wash, those, you know, self-wash I know, dog clean. I know clean. I know. I know clean. I know. I don't. I do not. Do uh, the clean. I. I. I know. No. I. I don't do that. I. I that. That. Yeah. I pay. I happy to pay we money. We can't help you. I happy to pay you money. You, li you listen here. I bring my Not pig. Listen, I, yeah. I. I bring my pig. Okay. You see. You see the size. You see the shape of it. It's flicking around at the front. And I see if you like to clean it. I pay top price. I pay double if you like. I just need clean. By tomorrow afternoon, yeah. huh? you write that down. Tomorrow afternoon, I need clean. Write that down. Yeah, no. So we, I, we can't help you, dog, sir, unfortunately. Thing. Pick we, a dog, the same thing. Pick a dog, the same thing. No, no, the, the, yes, they might be the same size, you know, but... The I'm same, sure a dog does not dog know, a dog does not know what a pig is. A dog does think, oh, there's a well, pink there dog. Are, uh, Another pink dog there. Bridge. To, uh, there are certainly dog breeds that are bred. Yeah, and there are certain dogs. pig breeds so, to a hunted dog. It's the same yeah. team in well, my you country. Try a mobile dog wash. Uh, they would come to you. No, no, you listen here, okay? I come in, you write this down, okay? I come in with pig. I only bring the smaller one first. So if and you see, come in with pig, I come in with the harness. And I will pay top price. You clean first thing morning. You write that down. First thing tomorrow morning, I bring my pig, huh? My fresh pig. 
So we won't be able to help you, sir. Unfortunately, you will be wasting your trip here. I, you listen here. I've been getting my pig clean for five years. Five years of dog where services. Does, where, does your, where do you normally get your pig? We clean? just moved to Brisbane, down in Sydney. The dog washer always cleaned the pig, no problem. Are the dogs there? They don't even look. They don't even look over. They just smell, smell it a bit. That's all. The dog don't mind if a dog a bite. A dog a bite, it should not be getting a clean. Yeah, no. Well, there are many other grooming salons, sir. So, um, I can recommend a couple for you if you want to try a, a, different, a different salon. So rude. You, Riley, you so rude to me. I cannot believe I have a hundred dollar, a hundred dollar cash I gave you to clean my pig. It take maybe a 10 or 15 minutes, huh? Just a shampoo, a little scrub. And to clean the pig for $100. I'm very sorry. It's very important. I have professional clean, huh? My wife is sick. My wife is I sick. I understand what you're telling me, but it doesn't change the outcome, unfortunately. Okay, well, you are uh, making me force in my hand. I bring my pick on my uh, truck and uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning. I'll uh, be there maybe at 9 30, 10. You write that down, 9 30, 10, and uh, you clean your pig. If you see the size and the shape of the pig, See it flicking around. We'll see uh, if you like it, huh? Yes. Well, uh, you can bring him down, sir, but the answer will still be the same. Okay. So, but bring him down. Today. We bring him down and we see, okay? I bring the pig tomorrow. I see you in the morning, okay? Okay. Okay. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> that was so beautiful. Wow. Dude, that was so fucked when you compared the dog and a pig as the same thing. <laughs> there were certain words you said then that was Sam truly, Shep. truly disgusting, but like incredible. Oh my god. Arnold Fine is back and he is fine. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, that was the prank call this week. Stay true to yourself and don't ever be rude to anyone, man. It's a good thing to be nice in this world. It's crazy times out there. Stay safe and be strong. And just remember that we... We're the best. 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 I die your rules. Oh, yeah. Fuck. No farts. <laughs>